To create the grid, we select the container element and then click on Edit Grid icon and choose Create CSS Grid. And here we can add new rows, uh, columns and rows as needed and also adjust the gap and to position elements within the grid select the element and then use the handles to position them um, in the grid let's adjust the colors so that we can see the elements in grid editor we can size the columns and rows as needed and use auto position to let the track span the size of their containing element and then once elements are in place we can easily create named areas And for elements like our image, which overlaps uh, other areas, uh, we can create named tracks. Header start, header end. And also here. And then we just nudge it in place and now it is positioned against the named tracks. One more thing to see. If we wish to insert new element into the grid, we press down command or control on Windows to be able to target the exact grid cell where we want the element to be placed. And again, once the element is there, makes sense to name the area so that we can easily maintain our grid on different display sizes. And here we can also see how we can optimize the grid to make it even more simple. These two columns are exactly the same so we can simply delete one and increase the size of the second one to achieve simplified layout. And with Pangro we can open multiple page views at different device sizes and adjust the grid to make it correctly responsive. And we can also switch off the CSS grid support in a page view to help us with creating fallbacks that will display correctly in browsers that don't support CSS layout. This was a quick introduction. Please see the full tutorial for details.